Hello everyone, this is Daniel with fitnessbundle.com. Today we have a really fun but really intense lower body workout for you. We're going to be doing a little bit of HIIT and a little bit of strength training. Our strength training is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be some traditional strength movements as well as static holds just to really, really wear out those muscles. So if you want this to be more of a toning routine, you can do this without any equipment whatsoever. However, if you want it to be a little bit more intense and a little bit more of a strength training or a muscle building routine, then you definitely want some dumbbells for those leg exercises. So with that said, let's go ahead and get ready for our warm-up. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and get started with our warm-up. My timer started here. We're going to be doing each one of these for 30 seconds a piece. We're going to be starting off with just a little bit of uh, nice slow stretches. So we're going to do right foot over top of your left. And you're going to lean towards that foot. Then right back up again. And then right back across. It's nice and slow. Stretch it out. Give a little bit extra stretch every single time. But don't hold a static stretch. You want to uh, get into the movement, not a static hold. We don't want to loosen things up too much. Let's try to get a good reach across. You should feel it down through the side of your torso. You might even feel it to the outside of your leg. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side here in just a second. And switch those feet. So same thing, just leaning off the other side. Back up straight for just a second. Try not to tip over. <laughs> and back out again. Remember, keep, keep this in motion and not a static hold. You wanna just go out, get a good stretch then let it relax and right back out again. All right, we're going to be doing uh, warrior pose next. So we're going to start off to the left side first. So bend that left leg, arms out to the side, just going to uh, lunge down on that leg as far as it's comfortable. Back out, but don't completely lock that knee. Right back out again. Just a nice slow pulse in that warrior position. Just keep those lungs open. If you want to, you can get a little bit of an arm circle going on here to warm up those shoulders. But whatever feels comfortable. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So turn that other foot out. Keep that left leg locked now. You're going to bend that right knee down and back up a little bit soft. Don't completely uh, lock it out. Again, if you want to get a little arm circle in there, feel free. You don't have to if you don't want. Just a little extra credit. Try to push that uh, lunge down a little bit further, a little bit more range of motion every single time, but only as far as it's comfortable. All right, keep those feet nice and wide. We're doing a toe touch sweep next. So down to one foot, across to the other, back up, a little bit of a backward lean, and then right back down again. Just exhale as you sweep down and across, inhale as you come back up. Again, keep that a constant motion, no holding. You're trying to work through that full range of motion. Warm those muscles up. All right, we're doing a toe touch kick next. Standing up nice and straight and tall, one leg at a time. Just kick that leg out. Try to reach down towards that toe. Uh, the name kick is a little bit of a misnomer because you want to actually do a nice controlled swing with that foot, you could uh, like you feel like you could stop it at any moment through that range of motion. Just take your time. Same thing on the other side. So switch sides. Same thing. Just reaching down across, so it's left leg comes up, right arm goes across to reach to that toe. So you're actually kind of doing a little bit of a, a rotation to those shoulders as well. If you can, don't let that foot touch at all. Otherwise, if you start Feeling as though you need it for balance, you can always touch down for a second. And then start that motion again. All right, we're doing high knee march. So just standing in place. You're just going to bring that knee up. Start really nice and slow, focusing on range of motion, getting that knee as high as you can every single step. And as you start feeling comfortable with it, just start speeding it up ever so slightly. As long as you're comfortable with it and as long as you can still get that full range of motion, just keep speeding it up. Just whatever feels comfortable to you. You should feel it in those hip flexors in front of that hip. 
and boxer shuffle so get up on those toes which is nice and light uh, hopping back and forth from toe to toe just warm up those ankles just a little bit moving into jumping jacks here in about about 10 seconds so keep that boxer shuffle going keep those lungs open remember stay up on those toes don't let your heel touch down to the ground and jumping jacks keep that shoulder rigid nice quick motion lungs open shoulder nice and tight arm pretty much straight no real heavy bend in that elbow try to move it as fast as is comfortable speed it up as you can and let it relax all right take a nice deep breath in we're gonna be right back to start into our first round of hit see you in just a second all right we've got our first round of hit we're going to be doing uh, our traditional style of, of tabata timing so it's gonna be 20 seconds of activity 10 seconds of rest move on to the next so we've got actually uh, six different exercises to go through and we're gonna run through all of them once start back over run through all of them again and then we'll be done with moving on to our strength section so let me get my timer started here we're going to be starting off with lateral jumps so we're going to be uh, jumping left to right really nice and wide nice big deep breath in and get it going so just out to the side try to stay nice and low all that energy should be going left to right for that jump trying to get as wide as you can rather than jumping up and over so just keep it low all that motion or all that energy pushing left to right and let it relax all right we've got pop squats next so you start with a really narrow squat uh, uh, squat and then out nice and wide so a harder version would be here just jumping back and forth if you want it to be a little easier you're just going to give a little bit of a pop in the middle but don't squat down if you need to cut out that jump, make it a little easier, and then just step out and back. All right, give it a second. We're gonna be doing a high knee pause. So we're gonna do every third high knee. You're gonna pause and keep that knee up in the air. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Just keep that motion going. <laughs> if I can do that and talk at the same time. Keep trying to drive those knees up really nice and high with every single repetition. All right, let it relax. Got a sumo squat with a front kick. So we're gonna be alternating which leg we kick each time. Feet out really nice and wide. And squat down. Come up on one leg, kick out, squat down. Same thing on the other side. So once you get that motion down, start speeding it up a little bit. Keep those feet out wide, toes turned out slightly. Let it relax. We've got uh, two squat jacks and two jumping lunges next. So squat jacks, low, pop them in and out, and then your lunges alternating back and forth. So squat down, one, two, lunge, lunge, back to center, one, two, lunge, lunge. Try to make sure that every time you do your lunge, you start with a different leg forward. Burn. All right, we've got burpees next. Deep breath. Hands down, legs out, back up. Just a full extension, or if you want harder, a jump. Lungs open. Focus on that form. Moving as quickly as you can control. All right, let it relax. We're starting back over. Just get your 10 second break. Starting with those lateral jumps. Stay low, jumping left to right. Just have one more of each of these exercises and then we move to strength. <clears throat> we'll give you a little bit of a water break after this. So really push yourself. 
relax, pop squats next. Big deep breaths for recovery. Easier version is that pop in the center. Harder version is squat and wide squat. Just back and forth. Whichever one you want to do. Let it relax. All right, high knee pause. Remember three times. And one, two, three, two, three. Keep those lungs open. Keep pushing yourself. This is your, so we're done with this. It's halfway through the second round of these. So we only have three exercises left. All right, deep breath. Sumo squat with the front kick. Legs out wide. Squat down, up on one leg, kick. Squat down, up on the other, kick. Speed up as you can. Keep those lungs open. Let it relax, two squat jacks, two jumping lunges. I'll do these sideways so you can see them a little different. Down, one, two, one, two. Back to center, one, two, one, two. If you need to, just turn into a step as you step out to that lunge. If you need to make it a little easier. All right, one last exercise, you got burpees. Deep breath. And down. Remember, get that jump at the top for the harder one. Just stand up for the easier. Remember, you get a water break after this, so do the hardest version you can. All right, let it relax. We're gonna grab a drink of water, grab your dumbbells. If you wanna do this next strength section with Weights, otherwise, be right back in, or right back to start in. Just a second. All right, everybody, we have our strength section next. So we're going to be doing something a little different with this. We're going to be doing uh, an active, uh, traditional strength training exercise. And then we're going to do that same exact motion, but a hold. So we're going to get down to the highest load point on those muscles, and we're going to try to hold it there for the entire time. So we're doing this in intervals. It's going to be 45 seconds on, 10, uh, 15 seconds rest. So 45 seconds to do our strength set. And then we're also going to do 45 seconds for the static hold. So this is going to burn those muscles out. If you can't make it through 45 seconds, Congratulations, you're a normal human being. If you can, congratulations, you're superhuman. So we're gonna try to get through this as best we can. Don't worry about uh, if you need to take a break, just try to get right back into that static hold and, and continue holding it for as long as you can before you need your next break. So our first two exercises are going to be a traditional squat and a, a squat hold. Um, I'm gonna be using 20 pounds per hand for the squat and then nothing for the squat hold. Use whatever weight you want to. And again, you don't necessarily even have to use weight for this. You can do it all body weight if you want to. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get my timer started here. Grab those weights. <clears throat> like I said, we're doing a squat first. I'm gonna pop these up to my shoulders. You can leave them by your sides if you want to. So just gonna do a nice, slow, controlled motion. Don't worry about uh, pace necessarily. It's just whatever you feel comfortable with. Just make sure you're using the same pace on the way down as the way back up. You don't wanna uh, make it easier for yourself by doing a really quick jump back up. Just take your time, keep those lungs open. Remember to keep that back nice and flat. As you squat down, if you want nice, clean, neutral form, you want that angle on your shins, same as the angle on your upper body. So if that back stand nice and flat, your shins and 
uh, upper body should be kind of pointing in the same direction. And let that relax. All right. Same motion, but you're going to hold the bottom for as long as you can. All right. So deep breath. Try to recover. We've got about five more seconds until we start. All right. Squat down. Get to that maximum load point. So as close to 90 degree on those knees as low as you can control comfortably without letting that background just hold it get comfortable all right we're already 15 seconds in i can already tell this is gonna hurt so bad by the time we're done <clears throat> but go to your happy place hold it for as long as you can try to use some mental strength just force yourself to stick through it all right Whew. first little break there all right, 10 seconds left Four, three, two, one. Ooh, wow, that is a burn and a half. All right, grab those weights. Now, this should be a lot more difficult the second time around. Just again, traditional uh, squat on this. Whew. Start it up. Squat down, nice and slow back up. Just whatever pace is comfortable for you. Trying to really wear those legs out. So do what you can, max weight you can, the longest hold you can. So the second time around on this hold, it's gonna be a lot harder. So just do what you can. 15 seconds left till you switch. Shake those legs out for just a second. 10 seconds till we start into that hold. All right, drop it down. Hold as long as you can. Remember, if you need to stand up, do a real quick stand up, shake your legs out, right back down. Give yourself like a max of a five minute count or five second count. <laughs> Five minute wish. Five second count before you come right back down. All right, shake them out. Try to hold it longer if you can. Try to keep that back flat even though you're not using any weight. All right, we're moving to a side lunge. Same weight. Feet relatively wide apart. We're gonna bend just your left leg. So left leg out, and back up. Keep that knee slightly soft. Right back out again. We're only doing the left leg. <laughs> Wear that one out. Ooh. Remember, try to catch yourself, try not to let that knee completely lock out. It's going to get really tired. You're going to want to try to hold it back. Almost done. Five seconds left. Four, three, two, one, and let it relax. All right. Static hold this time. Feet out nice and wide. Try to recover. Bend that left knee, left knee only. Drop it out and hold. Just get down as low as is comfortable. Just hold it there. Twenty seconds left. A little bit of a break there. All right, back into it. Remember, try to hold, uh, try to do your breaks for as short a period of time as you can. Almost done. 
Five seconds left. Four, three, two, one. And let it relax. Stand back up. Oh, that leg's starting to feel like jello. Back to the active portion of it. Same leg, same movement. So we're doing that side lunge still. All right, get out there. And bend that knee. Back up straight. Take your time, try to get a full range of motion, down as low as you can, back up. Got 20 seconds left. Remember, keep that speed nice and consistent. Try to lock that knee at the top. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Let it relax. All right, one more of the static holds on that left leg. And we get to torture that right leg for a while. All right, out nice and wide. Bend that knee, drop it down. And hold. Oh wow, this isn't gonna last long. Just go to that happy place. Try to think about something else than how that leg feels. Just get comfortable and hold. Oh, think about how nice it's going to feel to do our cool down at the end of this. How much, how sweaty you're getting. I don't know if you're getting, getting as sweaty as I am, but man, I'm dripping already. Whew. Whew, let that rest for just a second. Right back out again. Ten seconds left. Almost nothing. Just keep pushing through it. Focus and hold. Let it relax. Oh, man. All right. Shake that leg out. We're doing the same thing on the opposite leg now. So we're starting on that right leg. Grab those weights. Get into position. Leg out. Drop it down. Nice as low as it's comfortable. And right back up. Try not to bend that knee, or excuse me, try not to lock that knee. Try to keep it slightly bent. Those lungs open. Again, pushing that range of motion. Single time, trying to get as nice and low as you can. Try to almost feel like you're getting a little bit of stretch every time you drop down. Almost done. All right, that's our first one down. We've got our first hold on the side. That leg out just a little bit. Feet nice and wide. And drop it off. Lunge out to the side. Hold it. Let's get comfortable. Again, like I said, try to go to that happy place. Just got one more of each of these so one more with weights and one more static hold and then we're done we got a little bit of a break before we come back for some hit just hold get a little bit of a break right back in 10 seconds left and relax stand back up shake that leg out we're going back to weights that active motion Grab those dumbbells. If you need to increase or decrease your weight, feel free to. Try to match it to the opposite side. All right, drop it down, back up. So this is the active motion. So trying to get a nice, slow, controlled drop, slow, controlled press back up. Keeping that left leg locked out straight. Right leg doing all the motion. Keep your shoulders right above that, those hips. Try not to let your shoulders round forward. You want to keep them, keep that spine neutral. Ten seconds left. And let it relax. Back 
up, drop those weights. Just have one more static hold. Deep breath, shake that leg out, try to recover. All right, feet out nice and wide, bend that knee, drop it down and hold. Now what you might find is that one leg either has more strength or more endurance than the other. Typically how it goes is if you're left-handed, your left side's gonna be stronger, so your left leg's gonna be stronger. If you're right-handed, your right side's gonna be stronger. So it's not unusual at all to feel a pretty big difference from left to right. The reason why we try to train really, really balanced left to right is to try to undo that, to try to make sure your body is as balanced as possible left to right. That's how you get the most control over your body and lower your chances for injury. So you can do the same thing to the left as you can to the right. All right, man, I actually got through that without stopping. That's pretty good. That's what we get for talking. All right, so take a little bit of a break. We're gonna be right back to start into the second round of HIT. So we'll see you in just a second. All right, everyone, back to our HIT section. Again, this is gonna be 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We're going back through the same exercises we did for the first one. So try to work on cleaning up that form this time around since you already know what you're gonna be doing. Let me get my timer started here. We're starting back off with those lateral jumps. <sighs> nice big deep breath in. Try to recover as best you can before you start. Stay low, back and forth as best you can. Get nice and wide. <sighs> deep breath. Pop squats next. Deep breath. Out wide. Easier version is that little pop in the middle. Or you can do a full squat both once. Keep those lungs open. Keep the movement quick. Relax, all right, we got high knees with a pause. Deep breath. So every third, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Just keep it going. Try to get those knees up nice and high every time. doing a sumo squat with a front kick. Feet out nice and wide. Sumo squat, up on one side, kick. Sumo squat over the other. Speed it up as you get more comfortable with the motion. Relax, all right, we're doing a squat jack and jumping lunge. Down, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. We've got burpees next. Down and out. Either stand or jump, whichever version you want. I like to start to get tired, so I'm gonna lighten it up on myself just a smidge. All right, we're going right back through again. Lateral jumps first. Start them up.
Deep breath. Pop squats next. Oops, I gotta figure out what I'm doing here. Starting to get a little hypoxic. Don't have enough oxygen going in my brain. So I'm starting to slow down here, my thought process. Relax, shake those legs out. High knee pause. Three, two, three. Get those knees up there nice and high. At least knee, uh, hip height if you can. All right, let it relax. Sumo squat with a front kick. Recover as best you can. Feet out wide. Sumo squat, front kick. Remember, speed it up as you can. Keep those lungs open, don't hold your breath. All right, two more exercises. Squat jack, jumping lunge, and then burpees. Down, one, two, one, two. All right, burpees, last one. Then we get a nice long break. Down. All right, this is our last one. Might as well give it a little more go oomph here. Grab a drink of water, we'll be right back. Start our last section of hit, or excuse me, last section of strength. See you in just a second. All right, everyone. Even though my legs are starting to already feel pretty jello-y, the torture is not over quite yet. We still have our last set of strength before we get to do our cool down. So this is gonna be running through very similar to the first set of strength, new exercises, but same style. So we're gonna do an active exercise and then we're gonna do a hold of that motion at the lowest point you can control for, as, for up to 45 seconds or as long as you can. So let me get my timer started here. We're gonna be starting off with a sumo squat. I'm going to grab my dumbbells here. I'm going to use using again 20 pounds per hand. Get those feet out really nice and wide. The toes turned out and squat down the center. Right back up. Remember, just go as low as you can, as low as it's comfortable. You want to feel a little bit of a stretch in that inside thigh when you drop down and right back up. Try not to lock those knees. You just go into a straight leg and then back down. Keep those lungs open. Back flat. Remember, same pace on the way down as on the way up. If you want to move a little faster overall, that's fine. If you want to move a little slower overall, that's fine. Whatever's comfortable for you. This isn't necessarily about the number of repetitions. This is about just clean form, steady pace. All right, drop those dumbbells. We're going to be doing that static hold now. So feet out really nice and wide. Again, toes turned off slightly. Deep breath, drop it down, hold. Just find a comfortable spot. Try not to think about what you're doing, just hold it. All right, take a deep breath in, exhale. Don't hold your breath. 
I have a tendency to want to, but just don't do it. Keep everything nice and steady. So because this is so intensive on those legs, you're gonna be really jelly after this. So be careful what you do. Even walking up a flight of stairs or around your house could be really, really dangerous if those legs aren't wanting to cooperate because they're tired. So just be careful. And stand back up. All right, another active set. Grab those dumbbells. All right, feet out nice and wide. Toes turned out. Weight's right in front of those thighs. And drop it down as far as you can stretch it right back up. Now, if you're particularly tight through that groin area, you might have a little bit of difficulty getting down nice and low in a sumo squat. If so, it's just an area you need to work on limbering up. So things like butterfly stretch, which we'll be doing in our cool down, um, are a good one to help loosen that area up a little bit. Inside thigh stretch is another good one, which we'll also be doing in our cool down. And let it relax. All right, drop those off. One more static hold for that sumo squat. Now move into our next exercise. Feet out nice and wide. Deep breath. <sighs> Flat back, drop down and hold. Just go down as low as is comfortable, as low as you can control. Stay right there, hold as long as you can. Remember, as you start getting to the point where those legs are starting to give out on you, just burning way too badly. Stand up, shake them out, right back down as quickly as you can. Try not to, to take more than five seconds to do so. All right, deep breath. Exhale. Go to that happy place. Think about something else. Think about what you got to do the rest of the day, what, you, what chores you need to do, just anything to not make you think about how much those legs are hurting right now. We're almost done. Five seconds. Keep pushing through it. Oh, okay, let it relax. All right, moving on to lunges. So we're just gonna do one leg at a time. I'm just gonna use the same weight again. All right, you ready? Step out, back up, same leg. Don't switch sides. So I start off with my right leg, so that's the same leg. I'm gonna use all the way through. The static holds and that second round of these before we switch legs for that last exercise. Just try not to think about it. Try to think about what your legs feel like. Just push through it. Nice clean form. If you want to up that weight for that next round, just be thinking about that. Let it relax. All right. Uh, we're going into that static hold next. Out. Straight down between those knees. Try not to lean too far forward over that front leg or over that back leg. You want it nice and even, as low as you can go. Ooh, that's already burning. All right. 30 seconds left. Go to that happy place. Yeah, this is a lot. Get a little bit more of a burn out of this one than those sumo squats. Oh, shake them out, right back down. Almost done. We can do it here, five seconds left. Just keep pushing through it, no, no breaks. Oh man. All right, we've got another active one. Grab those dumbbells. Man, my legs, legs are moving slow. They don't want to do anything anymore. All right, same leg. How with that right leg? Lunge and back up. Now with the nature of a lunge, you're gonna to have to give a little bit of a kick to get back up straight. 
that's fine, but try to keep the motion on the way down and the way back up as close to the same pace as you can. Deep breath. Probably feeling that calf and that left leg as well. That's normal. That's fine. Just keep pushing through. All right, let me relax. One more static hold before we switch legs. Right leg forward, straight down and hold. Again, go to that happy place, think about something else. You're probably realizing more and more that you're definitely going to want to be careful how you move, at least for the next few hours after this, to protect yourself because those legs are not going to want to cooperate with you for a while. Oh man. Shake them out. Like I said, try to take as little bit of a break as you can when you let those legs rest. Ouch. Oh, relax. All right. Doing our active again, but this time with your left leg forward. Grab those dumbbells. Ouch. All right. Again, just one leg out and back. Don't switch legs. We're just punishing that left leg right now. Or whichever leg, the opposite from which one you started with. Try to get that rear knee as close to the ground as you can. Nice full range of motion. All right, drop those dumbbells. Got our static hold next. Those legs are getting a little tight, so stretch them out if you need to. Right, left leg forward, right leg back, or whichever one you were just doing. Drop it down and hold. Try to get that front knee as close to 90 as you can. As you can see, I'm, I'm not quite there. My legs are too tired to go any lower and hold for any length of time. So I'm doing a little more shallow. It's a little easier position for me. Shake them out. Go to that happy place. Try to hold them for as long as you can. All right, one more of each. Grab those dumbbells. Doing that active motion. Start them up. Down and back up. Stay on that. Same leg. Nice neutral spine, no letting your shoulders droop forward. Relax. One left before a cool down. Shake those legs out. We should have that static hold left. Focus on it. Clean form. Hold that position. Go to that happy place. Think about anything else. Think about all we have left. 
is our cool down stretch. I mean, nice and relaxing workout or work all the tightness and soreness out of these muscles before we end here. Whew, let that blood flush out before we're finished. Whew. Whew, shake them out if you need to. Right back down again, as low as you can control. Oh. oh, let it relax. All right, shake those legs out. Nice big deep breath in. Try to get a little oxygen back in your lungs. Move these out of the way real quick. All right, we're gonna go right into our cool down and stretch. We're not gonna worry about timing this. We're just gonna do what feels good. So we're gonna start off with a standing quad stretch. If you need to lean up against a wall or something like that, feel free to do so. Otherwise, if you have anything left, you're gonna try to balance. So same arm as foot, or same hand as foot. Squeeze that heel to your butt as close as is comfortable. Torso straight up and down, pull that knee behind you. Big deep breaths. And let it relax and do the same thing on the other side. Stand up nice and straight tall again. Same foot as uh, hand. Starting straight up and down, torso straight up and down. Heel to butt as close as comfortable, pull that knee back. Keep those lungs open. And let it relax. All right, we're doing inside thigh stretch next. Feet out really nice and wide. You're going to drop. Uh, we'll do your left hip first. So drop that left hip, push it down towards the ground as much as you can. You should feel that stretch to the inside of that, that thigh. Just deep breath. Keep those lungs open, breathing normally. Same thing on the other side, drop that right hip this time. Remember, you're trying to press that hip down as far as you can. You're not actually trying to do a lunge. So drop that hip, should feel it tighten up on the inside of that thigh, just hold it there. Lungs open. Nice big full deep breaths. And let that relax. We're going to go straight down between your feet. Drop it down. If you can touch the ground, great. If you can't, just get as low as you can. It's no big deal. Just kind of let those legs stretch left to right. Just drop straight down, round that back. Hold it there, lungs open. Go ahead and sit down. Shoot, sit up this way. Keep those feet straight out in front of you. So whatever's comfortable as far as positioning goes, you're gonna keep your back really nice and flat and you're just gonna tip straight forward towards those toes. Stretch down, just kind of grab where you can on your leg to help you pull yourself forward just a little bit. Use those abdominal muscles and hip flexors to pull yourself forward a little bit. If you can reach those toes, great. If you can't, don't worry about it. Just stretch down as far as you can. Lungs open, just hold it there.
And let that relax. All right, we're gonna do a single leg stretch. So tuck one leg in, kick the other leg out. We're gonna reach down towards that toe. If you can't reach it, that's fine. Just grab that shin. If you can, grab hold that toe, pull it in towards you, and reach that other arm up over top. Just hold it there. You get a nice stretch to the outside of your uh, torso as well as inside of that thigh or, or back of that thigh. Just hold it there. Keep that chest opened up. Try not to roll down towards that uh, leg. Relaxing the same thing on the other side. So let's switch legs, tuck that other leg in, reach out towards that toe, hand over top, stretch it down. Let that one relax. All right, we're going to do butterfly stretch. So both of those feet in nice and close together. You're going to pull them in as close as is comfortable. You can hold those toes if you need to, just kind of keep them in place. And then you use the muscles to the outside of your thighs. You're going to pull your legs down and out. You should feel that stretch all the way through the inside of that groin. Just hold it there. Nice flat back. Deep breath. Let that relax. We're gonna move on to a deep hip stretch. So same kind of, kind of same position as that butterfly, but move those feet out just by about uh, a little over a foot. And you're going to lean forward with a flat back as far as you can until you feel that stretch on the inside of your hip. Just go down as low as is comfortable. Again, like I said, flat back. Make sure you have a nice flat back. Just breathe normally. Keep those lungs open, no holding your breath. Relax. All right, lay down flat on your back. Boy. You're going to cross your right leg over top of your left. Grab behind your left leg and pull it in as close as comfortable. You should feel stretch down inside that hip socket a little bit, outside of that leg, in that glute area. You might even feel a little bit in that lower back if you have a particularly tight back. Deep breath. Switch sides. So left leg over top of your right, grab behind the thigh of your right leg, not over your shin, but behind the thigh, and pull in from there. Again, should feel it through that glute on your left leg once crossed over top. Maybe even down in that lower back, but probably not. Breathe normally, nice big, full, deep breaths. And let it relax. All right, straighten those legs out. We're going to cross your left leg over top, leaning it across, do a torso stretch. Let's hold it there. Nice big, deep breath.
Try to keep that shoulder uh, oh, that's opposite from the direction you're twisting down against the ground. So try not to let that shoulder lift up. You want to keep it down. So you get a nice twist of that torso. And same thing in the opposite direction. Lay that right leg across towards the left. Keep that right shoulder down against the ground. Or opposite if you started with the opposite side. Deep breath. Remember, it's not about touching your knee down to the ground. It's about getting that knee as close to the ground as you can without letting that opposite shoulder lift up. All right. A couple more seconds here. And let it relax. All right. All right, everybody. On our last uh, cool down stretch, which means this workout is complete. I hope you guys liked it. And don't forget, uh, let us know what you're thinking about it in the comment section below. And come and talk to us over in the comment section on fitnessblender.com if you want to talk to Kelly and I. We also are doing uh, giveaways over there, so go take a look. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.